Hey guys, Brian Haywood here. Welcome back to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we discuss tips and tricks for your beards. We do some product reviews and unboxings and we've got a beard advice series where you guys can send in a couple of pictures to me to that email address you see below. Give me a little more information and you get featured in your own beard advice series videos. That's pretty cool. If you haven't checked that out, please do. And today we're doing a follow-up review for some grooming tools, some brushes, boar hair bristle brushes that I got from Beard Brand. Uh, you see the little circle there, maybe a uh, little circle beard uh, on that. Uh, but I won, uh, I've won several different gift cards from them when they were having their live streams. I was able to catch that on a weekly basis um, and I'd already had most of their other scents. So I wanted to, to try out some grooming tools. So I got these brushes. Uh, the round brush here goes for $28 on their website. And then this one's the little travel brush, uh, which goes for $22 on the website. Um, and then if you get uh, both, that would be $50 once you get to the $50 mark you get uh, free shipping. So I had a $50 gift card. These are the two things that I got. So I want to talk a little bit about their usefulness and then uh, we'll see what else we can get into. So the, the main purpose for the round brush, uh, Greg Brzezinski, who uh, does some things for Beard Brand, he was uh, he's got a video or he's done several videos where he's doing the round brush technique. You can take a look at that. So he takes the, uh, the hair dryer and he uses this to kind of uh, curl and straighten your beard out and kind of get it to curl under a little bit. Uh, that's the way he styles his beard. Looks great on him for sure. Um, uh, I tried that for me. My beard's a little bit too... Uh, a little bit too curly for it. So if I stick this in, it's just not very comfortable. It really snags and pulls at my hair quite a bit. Uh, I can do it, I did it, I practiced it uh, as my beard was getting a little bit longer. Uh, and I could get it to work just fine, but it's a little bit snaggy for me. So I didn't like that, but I can use it because things are, uh, they're spaced out compared to like a, uh, a, another boar hair bristle brush where everything's flat on it. You're just kind of getting the outside. Uh, you can uh, get a little bit more um, get a little deeper a little bit quicker without causing so much issue because you're just getting like one row at a time if you go flat against your face so it actually works very well just to kind of brush everything out uh, and then I can get a little bit of that curl under uh, but I don't like using it with the hair dryer very much for me on my beard uh, but I would tell you one of the best uses for this for me is if you got a big handlebar mustache is it allows you to really separate stuff. You just kind of get it in there and give it a little spin as you go out and it really does help to uh, get that separation going. Uh, so I use it quite a bit for that. In fact, daily, um, I'll kind of comb it out with the brush, get it going to the sides, put in some mustache wax, give it another curl. And then if I really need to, I'll put a little bit more wax in just to kind of hold everything. So that works very well for that. Uh, the travel brush um, is pretty small, all right? Uh, I actually do like it. Uh, it works well on my mustache. Uh, I actually like it on my beard as well. You actually see a lot of barbers these days uh, have this kind of small brush. Uh, the best thing I like it for is my problem areas here that I have so much trouble taming down. I can actually get this part and kind of pull forward a little bit. Uh, it also works maneuvers well underneath my beard because it's nice and small and compact. Uh, but it's a great size for uh, putting in a drawer at your office, putting it in the console at, in your car, traveling in a bag. So it is really a great travel brush. I don't really travel with it a lot, but I do use it. Uh, I've got it in uh, one of the one of the bathrooms in my house, and I, I pretty much go through and kind of do this, use my hand on top to help get my problem areas in, in order. But you probably can find a good use for this uh, for you. Um, I wanted to talk about the price because for me, the price is just a, a little bit more than what I would pay normally. Um, I, I am an advocate of uh, the saying, you, you get what you pay for. So I do like buying quality um, products, but I usually don't go for the very, very top on the quality. As far as the prices, I usually kind of go right underneath that. So I did a little sleuthing on Amazon to try to find something that I thought was comparable. Uh, and yeah, you can get a cheap $2 um, brush that's a round brush that you might can get at Walmart or off Amazon. Uh, I didn't really take that into consideration. Uh, it may not last as long. Uh, it may not really be boar's hair bristle, probably be more synthetic, um, those kind of bristles on it. 
but I found uh, some brushes that were very similar to this, had the boar bristle, got really lots of good reviews, those kind of things. And uh, you can find them from around, um, let me see what I found them for. Um, around $23 so I would and then you could get the free shipping with the prime on it so I'm thinking that this is probably for me overpriced in the between five and eight dollars uh, if, if it was around 20 to 22 23 dollars it'd be a little bit more comparable but this was 28 uh, and then you'd have to pay shipping on top of that unless you buy 50 dollars worth uh, this travel brush uh, is 22 I found some comparable for about 18 dollars so it's about five dollars overpriced uh, on these in my opinion uh, they work well for what they are if you want to, uh, if you're into the kind of the uh, boutique companies and you want to get something uh, from a uh, beer brand a reputable dealer instead of some faceless Amazon company um, then this might be a better bet for you uh, I know beer brand has great customer service uh, you know Amazon does too with the, the free returns from the Amazon Prime and those kind of things but um, to actually get to talk to people in person uh, if you need to the beer brand I think would be a little bit better option but anyway I wanted to lay that out for you and, and another thing is you know sometimes you you have to kind of step out and take a risk when you're doing these if you know it's something you would use every single day and enjoy it I don't think spending 28 bucks would be a big deal but if you're like I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it to spend 28 dollars on this to throw it in a drawer and never use it again you might feel like you're wasting your money but I think we've all done that with beard oils too, right? So this kind of depends on where you want to put your money. So some things to think about. Put down in your comments if you would uh, ever pay $28 or $22 for a brush like this. Uh, and and if, if so, uh, or if maybe you've tried something comparable to this that you've liked as well. So put that down in the comments. Uh, and as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next video.